So we have this sum. There are three bags, each containing hundred marbles. So we'll consider this as uh, I'll consider this as one event over here. Let's say I'm considering it as an entire sample space, and I'm dividing into there are three packs. So I'm dividing into three packs this way now. Uh, let's say if I'm dividing into three parts, this is the first part. No, this is not the first part. This way. So let's divide this. This is a. I say this is a first part. This is the second, and this is. Let's say these are the three parts that you see. There are three bags. So this is bag B one. This is bag B two, and this is bag B three. That's it. This is there are three bags. So there are three bags B one, B two, and B three. Each containing hundred marbles. Now there are hundred marbles each. So if I consider bag one contains bag one contains seventy five red, twenty five blue. Bag two contains sixty red, forty blue, and bag three contains forty five red and fifty five blue. So blue, I'll take the I'll change the color over here. Forty five red, seventy five red, twenty five blue. Back two contains sixty red and forty blue, and back three contains forty five red and fifty five blue. One of the bags is chosen at random, and a marble is picked from the chosen bag. What is the probability that the chosen marble is red? So I'm considering another event. Okay, let's say over here, I'm considering another event which says, when I am selecting any one of the bags. What is the probability that chosen marble is red? One of the bags is picked at random. So, what is the probability? So, I am considering another event, which will be depend. This will be associated with all the three because I can select B one also, I can select B two also, and I can select B three also. So, this is an event which I can say is R. Now, let's understand what he is saying. He is saying, if I select bag one and I get red marble. If I select back two, I get red marble. If I select back three, I get red marble. So I can get red marble in three ways over here. So I split this event into three parts. That is, bag B one and red marble, bag B two and red marble, and bag B three and red marble. So this is how can I can cut it. So I can cut this event this way when I select bag B one. And I get red marble if I select this part. This is what I get. And if I select this part, so I have broken down the sum into three events over here: B one, B two, B three. And I am more interested in this part over here. This part that is uh, help me highlight it. So this is the part that I am more interested in since this part is will give me red. This part will give me red, and this part will give me red. So this is the part that we are uh, that probably the chosen marble is red. Okay. So how do I go about it? So to find the probability of red, I can say p of r probability of red will be probability of red means I can say. I get I I choose bag B one, I choose bag B one and the marble is red, or I can say I choose bag B two and the marble is red, or I can say I choose bag B three and the marble is red. So bag B one, as you can see over here, bag B one and the marble is red, bag B two and the marble is red, bag B three and and means intersection B one and red. B two and red, B three and red. Now, I can say this is P of probability of B one. I can say probability of B one, probability of B one into probability of. If I use conditional probability, P, probability of R by B one, same way P of B two into probability of R by B two plus P of B three. Into probability of R by B three, that is equal to P of B one. The probability of getting B one, bag one, 
now since there are three bags i can clearly see probability of getting b1 b2 and b3 both will be uh, all all three of them will be 1 by 3 because i can select any one out of three so p of b1 b2 and b3 all three will be 1 by 3 so this is 1 by 3 this will be 1 by 3 and this will be 1 by 3 over here now let's see what we get ahead now over here i i want is i want is what is p of r by v1 now what does this mean p of r by v1 means p of r by v1 means probability of getting a red marble when v1 bag is chosen that this event is already done probability of getting r when b1 has occurred b1 has occurred means i can say b1 bag is selected b1 bag is selected what i'll do i'll just uh, put some events over here so b1 i can say is bag b1 is selected okay or i can say picked or i can say chosen b2 is b2 bag bag b2 is bag b2 is chosen then b3 is bag b3 is chosen bag b3 is chosen uh, so p of b1 p of b2 p of b3 is the same and r is definitely uh, getting a red marble that is red marble red marble is red marble is drawn i or i can say red marble is again chosen okay red marble is chosen so this will be probability of getting uh, red red marble when back b1 is selected probability of getting a red marble when back b1 is selected as you can see over here that is 75 i'll just erase this it is definitely 75 this 75 same way so this part will be 75 out of 100 same way this will be probability of r by b2 that is 60 out of 100 and this will be this part will be 45 out of 100 so this is how we get it that is probability is 75 out of 100 this will be 60 out of 100 and this will be 45 out of 100 so in all if i calculate this i'll get 1 by 3 into 100 that is 3 into 100 and if you add this 75 plus this is 45 plus 75 is 120 plus 60 is 180 180 divided by so 0 0 will go 3 1 za, 3 6 za, 2 3 za, 2 5 za. the answer is 3 by 5 or I can say 0. 0.6 also. Five, the answer can be 0. 0.6 also.